Hi guys, welcome back to the desk corner and welcome to a new video. I apologize if this video gets out a little bit late. I haven't been feeling very well lately and my video schedule has gotten way off track which stresses me out. This video I'm filming today is supposed to be up in two days, so let's cross our fingers for that. So Holbein pencils have been all the rave lately ever since they started becoming available in the US and a few other countries as well, whereas before it was very difficult to obtain Holbein colored pencils. And specifically the reason Holbein colored pencils have been so talked about is because they offer a wide variety of pastel colors. Now don't worry, I'm not going to do more pencil shopping in today's video. There is no need for that. I know I already have plenty of pencils. So I thought that I would cheer myself up a bit by going through my other pencil sets and picking out pastel colors and then trying to match them to the Holbein pastel colors. So let's go ahead and jump straight into the color charts. Okay, so I know my color charts don't match and the Pablos here are the most aesthetic ones because I took more time to do that recently when I got this set, but forget that. So we have the Pablos here. We also have the Caran d'Ache Luminance colors to choose from as well. And finally, we have the Polychromos colors. So the Holbein Pastel Tone set comes in a set of 50. They have smaller sets available too. I'm going to do my best to find all 50 colors in my other three sets, put them together, and create a Holbein color chart, which I can then refer to. Of course, I will obtain them someday because I'm very curious about them now, but they're just far too expensive for me to do that right now. So we're going to create a mock chart instead. This might help some of you out who have some of these pencils and don't have the Holbeins and wonder, if you have any overlapping colors already. Okay you guys, so it actually took me a long while to make this color chart and write out the names of the Holbein colors and I left plenty of space underneath. I think I'm going to pick out a different colored fine liner and write the names of the actual colors that I'm using under there, but I do have the Holbein colors on top. Now I don't have the 50 Holbein set, so I'm going to have to do my best here. So based on a couple of different color charts I found, I'm now going to see which colors seem to match up best to the original Holbein colors. And I know it's hard to do this when I don't have the Holbein set, so that's why this isn't any kind of official video. We're just doing this as a fun activity, and so some of the colors I'm not expecting them to match up perfectly, of course. We're just going to do our best, so let's go ahead and get started. Folks, we can already see we're not starting this video off very well. I wrote apricot when I meant to say cherry blossom. That's okay. You guys, I had no idea how difficult this was actually going to be. So while I was able to find some pretty close color matches, a lot of the times I had to just choose something that I thought matched. And at the beginning, this was okay because I had all the colors to choose from, but as I went on and used up more and more of my pastel tones in this color chart, I started to run out and when there were similar colors that I had to find later, it was a bit difficult for me. So Cherry Blossom, the first one there, is actually supposed to be a lot deeper, apparently. At least that's what my speculations are based on the color charts I found. And I was only able to find that exact tone in a lighter color, which is the Luminance Pink White. And I'm not going to go through every single color. You will see me label the correct color names or what the pencil actually is in a moment. I'm going to label that underneath. So the labels you see right now are the Holbein labels. And a lot of these, beware you guys, a lot of these are not going to match exactly. But you know, I did try my best. Polychromos had a lot of color matches like ivory and cream that I was able to use and that made it a little bit easier. And the Pablos also had a lot of pastels. I was surprised at how many pastel colors the Pablos have. And 
I think I could recommend these pencils to anybody who wants a wide range of bright colors and also some really nice pastel tones like that green and blue that you see right there. I thought that those matched pretty well with the Holbein sets. Here I'm showing you the nice aesthetic range of colors I have for the first two rows and now we're going to actually label them. So I used an L for luminance. It's hard to see because of my writing being so small. A P. At first I was dumb and I forgot that Pablos and Polychromos both start with a P so I ended up going back later and doing PA for Pablos and then PO for Polychromos but I was not really in my right state of mind here wasn't feeling super well doing this which explains some of the messiness here so please forgive me for that but my first two rows went pretty well okay you guys so I think I did a pretty good matching job on these first two rows. There are a couple that I didn't match very well. Here are the pencils I used. I mixed all three of the brands here. And now we get into the third row. So the Pablos Bluish Pale that I used for Horizon Blue might have been a little bit too light. I thought that I found a pretty good match for Lavender Blue. That one was a Polychromos Sky Blue and then Lilac as well. I think was all right. So, so far the, the second row and the third row were actually going pretty great. You could see the second row had lettuce green and ice green and Charousse and those three were pretty great as well. Now here's where we start to have some trouble is getting into those pinks. I think Holbein has a pretty good range of unique pinks that a lot of color colored pencils don't in their color range. And I had a little bit of trouble trying to figure out which one I should label salmon pink and coral and all that because they were just so similar. So I ended up just doing my best and a lot of these are not exact color matches. Like salmon is not orange enough and I think coral was a pretty decent match. Pink might have been a little bit off tone and I think apricot was all right. Maybe just a little bit lighter than what it should have been. Now, luckily, Naples Yellow was included in the Holbein Pastel set, and that's a pretty common color. I didn't have an issue with that. Cobalt Green, my version, is a little bit darker, I think, than the Holbein version was. And I got into a little bit more trouble here as we start getting into more of these aqua colors, these green-blue combinations, which I didn't have a ton of. So now you can see me labeling if you look very closely, PA or PO for Pablos or Polychromos, and I'm very sorry about how small these labels are, but I write out the entire color name here for those, and I chose to do it in a brown fine liner, but I don't think that mattered. I think I should have used something like red instead, but that's okay. Basically what I learned while making this video is that yes, I do have a lot of pretty similar color matches to a lot of the pastel colors, but there are a lot of unique colors in the Holbein range and I was comparing it to the Caran d'Ache Luminance Pablos and the Faber-Castell Polychromos and even comparing it to those three ranges, I can tell that the Holbein pastel colored range definitely is unique and I think would probably be worth it if not for the very high price. So I'm just going to sit tight and wait for them to go on sale one day many years from now as I do have the Derwent Light Fast a little bit higher on the priority list. Anyways, enough about my pencil addiction. This is an area where I had some trouble matching blues because I couldn't find exact matches for a lot of these, but I did my best. Small blue, I had a small blue or I didn't have a small blue, I had an ultramarine, ultramarine that worked, I cannot speak today. Small blue from the Polychromos was a little too light to match the Holbein one, so I used ultramarine instead. And then I went on to the second page. I had some trouble, again, with these magenta or purpley pink colors. I wasn't able to completely match them, and that's okay. I think for some of them I could have found better color matches, but my eyes were getting a little bit strained from staring at three different color charts and desperately trying to find colors that matched. And therefore I might have mixed up a couple of these and maybe some of them are not the best matches. Overall though, even if they don't match exactly to the Holbein set, I think I created a really great pastel toned color chart here. 
Okay, Ash Rose, this was a real problem for me. I found a pretty good match after a while of looking, but ended up using the Luminance Violet Pink, which I think comes in the new portrait set. And if it weren't for that, I don't think I would have found a color match. So congratulations, Luminance, that's a good color match. The other two sets didn't have anything quite close to that. As far as beige goes, I think the Prismacolor has the advantage here because I remember them having a lot more beige colors than Pablo's, Luminance, or Polychromos. So I couldn't find a good match for sand either. All of my sand colors had been used up and I ended up having to use the Pablo's Light Lemon Yellow, which is okay. And I think as I was getting towards the end of this, I started to get just a little bit frustrated because I was running out of pastel colors to use. A lot of them matched up so closely to other colors that I've used before. And so I was struggling a little bit with that. To my surprise, a lot of the pastel colors didn't even get used. The ones that I thought would be here wouldn't even match up to any of the Holbein pastel colors. So I guess the Luminance Pablos and Polychromo set have some of their own pastel colors as well that don't really match to the Holbeins. Oh, here we go. Sky Mist was a disaster. I definitely did not have one that matched, so that's one I have my eye on if I ever do get some of these Holbein pastels. And now I'm going in and shamefully labeling a lot of these colors that really did not match up, but that is okay. This row in particular just didn't match very well at all. I think my colors were way too bright, way, way too bright and off tone, but that is perfectly fine. I still like this range of pastels that I put into my chart. Either way, it was fun. So then we had one called Smoke Blue, which was way more purple than what I could find. I ended up using the Pablo's Blue Jeans, so that's a color I have my eye on now because that's obviously one that I don't already have. There was a color called Sea Fog, which is a little more purple than the color I put down, so that one's a bit unique too. And then I didn't have too much trouble at the end here because Mustard and Olive Yellow and some of these colors are very common to find in sets. So as I finish up here, at least I was able to finish off strong at the very last row, or I guess I could say the last one and a half rows was pretty strong for me with a slightly weak middle section. I am wondering now if other people have tried to match colors from th these sets to the Holbein Pastel set and if they had any better luck than I did or if they found some better matches. And if you know a better match, let me know in the comments down below because I was not fully focused during the length of this video, so I might have had a couple mismatches that could have been better matched. Okay, you guys, here is my full color chart. So while I was going through this, I do realize a lot of these colors don't match exactly or even close at sometimes to the Holbein pastel tones, which means that there may be room for the Holbein pastel set in my future. But no need to encourage me in the comment section. I thought it would be fun to keep this little swatch chart and if I ever do get that set, I could compare it to the actual swatch chart that I would make with the actual Holbein pastel pencils. That would just be a really fun video idea. I wanna show you guys the mess of pencils that I have going on right now. So as you can see, it's a huge mess of pencils. I think I'm just going to keep these together for now and I might do a drawing in the same color palette. I want you guys to let me know in the comments down below what you thought. If you actually have the Holbein pastel tones, tell me which ones were way off and which ones were actually pretty good. I could tell that some of them were way off, but I didn't have any color to use, so I had to use a color that was way off. All in all, though, these colors do make up a really nice pastel chart. A couple of them are a little deeper, perhaps, than they should be. And I was surprised to see that not all the pastel colors 
made it into this chart. There are some pastel colors in the other sets that don't match up really to the ones in this set, which is interesting. So you guys, I woke up the next morning after filming and I felt so much better. I decided to do a demonstration drawing after all and I just sketched in some very loose tulips and leaves because tulips are my favorite flower and I decided to use black paper because I knew the pastel colors would just stand out so much better. However, the black paper did cause my colors to look so light and I was having trouble creating contrast and you'll be able to see that throughout. Um, there was another additional tulip in my reference photo between those two leaves at the top, but I felt I wouldn't have enough time to draw that one in, but I might add it in later if I feel like it. It just probably won't make an appearance in this video, unfortunately. My goal here was really to use as many of the pastel colors as I could, so I ended up using a bunch of greens, cool tones, warm tones, it didn't matter. Cohesiveness went out the window here, and I used blues as well, pinks and even yellows and pretty much the only colors I didn't get to using were more of the purples and the peach beige colors but that is totally okay I was able to incorporate peach a little bit here and you'll see that later. I was surprised at how the Pablos really almost go together the way pastel does. They just mix together so well and even though I was using pretty medium and hard pressure throughout and I wasn't being gentle in this drawing at all. I was actually working on it rather quickly, which is not my usual style of working. The Pablos just layer on top of each other and blend together so easily. And so if any of you have not tried those and you prefer a softer pencil, but you don't want something too waxy or too breakable, the Pablos might be your pencil that you should try out because I recommend them. They also just have a lot of these really bright colors too. The very light green and blue that you're going to see me use a lot that are pretty bright are part of the Pablo set and I just love those colors and if you're wondering I'm using the Luminance White too for the highlights. I especially want to work on black paper more and I had the idea of maybe doing a metallics video with the Dermot metallic pencils that I have and some of the other metallic pencils I have on black paper as well. And of course, if I'm ever to get the Holbein pastel set, I will have to make a companion video or a sequel to this one because that would just be so funny to compare my swatches. This very light blue that I was trying to compare to ice green actually, in the Holbein set, I actually used the Pablo's light blue color, and I love this color. It's so bright and just gorgeous without being too neon, I guess. And same with the light green. The very, very light green in the Pablo set is really nice to use as well and worked great for my highlights. And I rushed a little bit on the petals because I was running out of time at this point and I wanted to use as many pinks as I could. And then you'll see me go in with my Tombow Mono Zero Eraser to pull out some of the darker areas since I'm not really able to get contrast in any other way besides adding highlights, but I'm not able to add those shadows. I'm only able to add the highlights. Um, so it was interesting working kind of with the space already being dark to begin with. The first flower was more on the purplish pink side and I decided to make the second one more on the yellowish peach side just so I could use some more of my colors. And I think this one turned out all right too. The yellows were all very similar looking when I used them on the black paper. So I don't think you can really distinguish too well between them. And that's why I ended up adding some of those salmon pink and peaches in there to just kind of make it look a little more interesting. I don't know if my sketch was all that great for this flower. It's a little small looking, but that's okay. And I do think this drawing could have benefited from another flower too. I felt that something was missing, so I decided to add some shadows, I guess you could say, with 
the blue and I'll use the pink, one of the pink colors, I believe the luminance violet pink to create some shadows contrasting against those green and blue leaves as well. And it actually kind of gave a glowing effect that I really, really liked. But anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!